Hello everyone. So I just stepped outside a little while ago to check out the full moon which has now risen here in Los Angeles and maybe some of you all have seen the full moon in your skies wherever this finds you tonight or maybe you saw it last night if it's already your morning. So um, this piece uh, I decided to call it Jupiter with four of its moons for a couple of reasons. Um, one is that, well, the idea, musical idea first came to me before the start of the new year. And then it just so happens that on New Year's Eve, I had the opportunity to go to an event that was led by an astronomer. His name is Dennis. And he actually has built his own telescope. It's really pretty impressive. So amongst the many interesting things in the night skies that Dennis showed us was Jupiter with four of its moons. And the, um, the planet Jupiter, I guess, has a lot of moons. I'm not sure exactly how many. Um, one place I saw said something like 67. So I think we saw f the four largest ones. And it was really a remarkable sight. So I want to dedicate this piece to Dennis. And it just so happens that I revisited it on um, Monday, this past Monday, on January 13th. And that night, apparently, Jupiter was the brightest planet that you could see in the evening skies if you were looking for it. And, um, and then the other reason is a reason that maybe some musicians can guess. And I guess I would say that this piece sort of falls along the lines of the 12 Muses and One Apsara Meander piece, which I had played sometime early last fall. Though I actually haven't listened to that one in a while, so uh, I don't know how exactly um, how much similarity it bears, but maybe it's part of like a cycle of songs or, or something like that. So um, without further ado, I present to you on this night of the full moon, the first full moon in 2014, Jupiter with four of its moons in its current state. you all have a great night or day wherever you are.